The Protestant Reformation, often referred to simply as the Reformation, was a schism from the Roman Catholic Church initiated by Martin Luther, John Calvin, Huldrych Zwingli and other early Protestant reformers in the 16th century Europe, although there had been significant earlier attempts to reform the Roman Catholic Church before Luther, such as those of Jan Hus, Peter Waldo, and John Wycliffe, it is Martin Luther who is widely acknowledged to have started the Reformation with his 1517 work The 95 Theses. Luther began by criticizing the selling of indulgences, insisting that the Pope had no authority over purgatory and that the Catholic doctrine of the merits of the saints had no foundation in the Gospel. The Protestant position, however, would come to incorporate doctrinal changes such as sola scriptura and sola fide. The core motivation behind these changes was theological, though many other factors played a part, including the rise of nationalism. The Western Schism which eroded people's faith in the papacy, the perceived corruption of the Roman Curia, the impact of humanism and the new learning of the Renaissance which questioned much of the traditional thought. The initial movement within Germany diversified almost right then and there, and other reform impulses arose independently of Luther. The spread of Gutenberg's printing press provided the means for the rapid dissemination of religious materials in the vernacular. The largest groups were the Lutherans and Calvinists. Lutheran churches were founded mostly in Germany, the Baltics and Scandinavia, while the Reformed ones were founded in Switzerland, Hungary, France, the Netherlands and Scotland. The new movement influenced the Church of England decisively after 1547 under Edward VI and Elizabeth I. Although the National Church had been made independent under Henry VIII in the early 1530s for political rather than religious reasons, there were also Reformation movements throughout continental Europe known as the Radical Reformation, which gave rise to the Anabaptist, Moravian, and other Pietistic movements. Radical reformers, besides forming communities outside state sanction, often employed more extreme doctrinal change, such as the rejection of tenets of the councils of Nicaea and Chalcedon. The Roman Catholic Church responded with a counter-reformation initiated by the Council of Trent. Much work in battling Protestantism was done by the well-organized New Order of the Jesuits. In general, Northern Europe, with the exception of most of Ireland, came under the influence of Protestantism. Southern Europe remained Roman Catholic, while Central Europe was a site of a fierce conflict, culminating in the Thirty Years' War, which left it massively devastated. History and Origins the oldest Protestant churches, such as the Unitas Fratrum and Moravian Church, date their origins to Jan Hus in the early 15th century, as it was led by a Bohemian noble majority, and recognized, for a time, by the Basel Compacts. The Hussite Reformation was Europe's first magisterial reformation, because the ruling magistrates supported him, unlike the Radical Reformation which the state did not support. The later Protestant churches generally date their doctrinal separation from the Roman Catholic Church to the 16th century. The Reformation began as an attempt to reform the Roman Catholic Church by priests who opposed what they perceived as false doctrines and ecclesiastic malpractice, especially the teaching and the sale of indulgences or the abuses thereof, and simony, the selling and buying of clerical offices, that the reformers saw as evidence of the systemic corruption of the church's hierarchy, which included the pope. Earlier schisms unrest due to the Great Schism of Western Christianity excited wars between princes, uprisings among the peasants, and widespread concern over corruption in the church. New perspectives came from John Wycliffe at Oxford University and from Jan Hus at the Charles University in Prague. Hus objected to some of the practices of the Roman Catholic Church and wanted to return the church in Bohemia and Moravia to early Byzantine-inspired practices, liturgy in the language of the people, having lay people receive communion in both kinds, married priests, and eliminating indulgences and the idea of purgatory. 
Huss rejected indulgences and adopted a doctrine of justification by grace through faith alone. The Roman Catholic Church officially concluded this debate of the Council of Constance. The conclave condemned Huss, who was executed by burning despite her promise of safe conduct. Wycliffe was posthumously condemned as a heretic and his corpse exhumed and burned in 1428. The Council of Constance confirmed and strengthened the traditional medieval conception of church and empire. It did not address the national tensions, or the theological tensions stirred up during the previous century. The Council could not prevent schism and the Hussite wars in Bohemia, but its source needed. Pope Sixtus IV established the practice of selling indulgences to be applied to the dead thereby establishing a new stream of revenue with agents across Europe. Pope Alexander VI was one of the most controversial of the Renaissance popes. He was the father of seven children, including Lucrezia and Cesare Borgia, but his source needed in response to papal corruption, particularly the sale of indulgences. Luther wrote the 95 Theses, but his source needed early reformation in Germany. The protests against the corruption emanating from Rome began in Germany when Reformation ideals developed in 1517 to 1521 with Martin Luther expressing doubts over the legitimacy of indulgences and the plenitudo potestatis of the Pope. The Reformation was born of Luther's dual declaration, first, the discovering of Jesus and salvation by faith alone, and second, identifying the papacy as the Antichrist. The highly educated Reformation leaders used prophecies of the Bible as their most powerful weapon in appealing to committed believers to break from the Church, which they perceived as the new Babylon, and to convince them that the popes were the Antichrist who had assumed the place of God. The Protestant reformers were unanimous in agreement and this understanding of prophecy furnished importance to their deeds. It was the rallying point and the battle cry that made the Reformation nearly unassailable. The Reformation is often dated to 31 October 1517 in Wittenberg, Saxony, where Luther nailed his 95 theses on the power and efficacy of indulgences to the door of the castle church. The theses debated and criticized the church and the papacy, but concentrated upon the selling of indulgences and doctrinal policies about purgatory, particular judgment, and the authority of the Pope. He would later in the period 1517 to 1521 write works on the Catholic devotion to Virgin Mary, the intercession of and devotion to the saints the sacraments, mandatory clerical celibacy, monasticism, further on the authority of the Pope, the ecclesiastical law, censure and excommunication, the role of secular rulers in religious matters, the relationship between Christianity and the law, good works, and the sacraments. Reformers made heavy use of inexpensive pamphlets as well as vernacular Bibles using the relatively new printing press. So there was swift movement of both ideas and documents. Magisterial Reformation parallel to events in Germany, a movement began in Switzerland under the leadership of Ulrich Zwingli. These two movements quickly agreed on most issues, but some unresolved differences kept them separate. Some followers of Zwingli believed that the Reformation was too conservative and moved independently toward more radical positions some of which survive among modern-day Anabaptists. Other Protestant movements grew up along lines of mysticism or humanism, sometimes breaking from Rome or from the Protestants, or forming outside of the churches. After this first stage of the Reformation, following the excommunication of Luther and condemnation of the Reformation by the Pope, the work and writings of John Calvin were influential in establishing a loose consensus among various groups in Switzerland, Scotland, Hungary, Germany and elsewhere. The Reformation foundations engaged with Augustinianism. Both Luther and Calvin thought along lines linked with the theological teachings of Augustine and of Hippo. The Augustinianism of the Reformers struggled against Pelagianism, a heresy that they perceived in the Roman Catholic Church. 
In the course of this religious upheaval, the German Peasants' War of 1524-1525 swept through the Bavarian, Thuringian and Swabian principalities, including the Black Company of Florian Geyer, a knight from Giebelstadt who joined the peasants in the general outrage against the Roman Catholic hierarchy. Zwinglian and Lutheran ideas had influence with preachers within the regions that the peasants' war occurred and works such as the Twelve Articles. Luther, however, condemned the revolt in writings such as against the murderous, thieving hordes of peasants. Zwingli and Luther's ally Philip Melanchthon also did not condone the uprising. Some 100,000 peasants were killed by the end of the war. Literacy The Reformation was a triumph of literacy and the new printing press. Luther's translation of the Bible into German was a decisive moment in the spread of literacy, and stimulated as well the printing and distribution of religious books and pamphlets. From 1517 onward, religious pamphlets flooded Germany and much of Europe. By 1530, over 10,000 publications are known, with a total of 10 million copies. The Reformation was thus a media revolution. Luther strengthened his attacks on Rome by depicting a good against bad church. From there, it became clear that print could be used for propaganda in the Reformation for particular agendas. Reform writers used pre-Reformation styles, clichés, and stereotypes and changed items as needed for their own purposes. Especially effective were writings in German, including Luther's translation of the Bible, his smaller catechism for parents teaching their children, and his larger catechism for pastors. Using the German vernacular they expressed the Apostles' Creed in simpler, more personal, Trinitarian language. Illustrations in the German Bible and in many tracts popularized Luther's ideas. Lucas Cranach the Elder, the great painter patronized by the electors of Wittenberg, was a close friend of Luther, and illustrated Luther's theology for a popular audience. He dramatized Luther's views on the relationship between the Old and New Testaments, while remaining mindful of Luther's careful distinctions about proper and improper uses of visual imagery.